been wearing this Olight Perrin 2 for probably two and a half, three weeks now. Um, as far as decent reviews, there's massive amount on YouTube, so you can watch all the detailed half hour, descriptions, battery, all that, but I couldn't find a really basic, real life, just taking it for a walk. Is it good? Is it bad? Do you like it? Um, so I'm quite detailed. I needed those reviews to convince me to buy it, but now that I bought it, I find it fine. Uh, so we're walking this morning. It's quite cool. A bit of rain. Obviously they're waterproof. I think they're a couple of meter or two underwater you've taken, which is great. Um, the pocket clip is what I've found the best part because obviously here it's just clipped on my jacket so I don't have to worry about wearing it in the headband. Headband's great, looks good, just like all the reviews say. I chucked it on briefly at home for five minutes, um, put it on my head and thought, well, yeah, you can really feel it. The weight all at the front, 160, 180 grams, whatever it might be, you can really feel that at the front on your head. Um, it's got the headband that goes around the sides and over the top of your head as well, but fortunately, being winter with your coat, you can use your, your um, the clip on it and hook it in that way. Um, come summertime, not exactly sure what I'll do, I'll probably just wear the headband um, or depending if I've got a shirt with a pocket on the top or something or hook it in your collar or even because um, it's nice just wearing it on the front, you don't have to worry about it, you don't have to touch it. Um, but I'm happy with the light levels. I was using an old head torch which is like 75 lumens or something so I walk on this setting which is around the 500, 550 or something like that so as you can see it works really well compared to if you turn it off. It's pitch black basically. Bit of, bit of light but not much it's a single tap back on comes back on at the 500 i think it's supposed to have a memory setting but whenever i turn it off on 500 and turn it back on it comes on at the medium setting of like 120 130 but that might be normal i honestly haven't read the manual i just went off the reviews and what buttons to press and it's pretty intuitive you figure it out yourself um so yeah i wanted one that was a head torch if you wanted it to could be a hand torch could cl clip on somewhere with the clip and it does all that perfect um, I like every now and then when you get to a bend like this, you can just double tap and flare it right up to the two and a half thousand lumen. So that's going 160 something meters, something like that. So it's quite good, especially if there's a few roos, roos around, just let them know you're here and then they take off. The other nice thing is if you put your hand in front, um, you'll see how bright that is. Put your hand in front, it goes back. So if you hold it up here, it comes back to the full level. You really notice it on the 2500, so it's got the sensor on it. One last thing to add is I really wanted a torch, head torch, clip torch, um, that had a built-in battery and charge by plugging a cord into it. Um, so that was one of the big things I had to have. I was sick of changing AA, AAA batteries, whatever they might have been. Um, <clears throat> so this one works really good. Obviously, Olight's got their proprietary magnetic clip. So you just walk back in home, hold it near it, clip jumps on, let go of the torch, finished. And it's all charging so it's obviously got a red light green light in there that changes color depending if it's charged or not to let you know like a basic level which is all you need um not too much of a requirement for me because i just chuck it in there leave it overnight walk the next morning so it charges overnight but yeah so and to sum it up worth the money 125 bucks give or take it's a clip scenario which is like a double clip you can clip it one way or clip it the reverse way because the clip folds back on itself it's a handheld with a right angled beam um it's a head torch as well. It's got a charging cable or magnet one that clicks on, so ticks the boxes on all those scenarios. Um, and then lumens, I was happy with the spread of lumens. So a moonlight five, which you might use camping or in a tent with someone. Then you've got your 30-ish, I think, around 120 to 150, a 500, and then you've got the massive turbo, two and a half thousand lumens, which throttles back to 800, but runs for a couple of hours at 800. So all in all, so far, three weeks in, um, happy with the purchase, well worth it. 